Um, I'm totally not just changing my sweater so it seems like I'm recording on a different day. Um, how's it going everyone? My name is Arnold and if this is your first time on the channel, it is a great pleasure meeting you. This is the third and final part of a three-part series on the ultimate guide on how to get into an Ivy League, Yale, or your top or elite college. In this episode, we are going to focus on letter recommendations, the interview process, and why I specifically chose the Common App and why I think it's a pretty good application. Before we get started, please watch the previous two videos so that you can get the full package of information and if you enjoy this content please like comment subscribe and click on the bell notification icon as I'm on a Wednesday and Friday 3 p.m. schedule and I genuinely genuinely love your engagement interactions it makes my day and just thank you so much all right for recommendations to put it simply just be friends with your teachers and staff the earlier the better make genuine relationships with teachers especially in the core subjects and fields of interest that you really want to pursue don't think about this in a logistical or technical manner but in general just be friends with the teachers the earlier the better and have a good relationship which is very healthy to help you emotionally and develop as a student and person but this will also pay off hugely once you ask them to write your recommendations your senior year it is truly important that the recommendations are very personal and that they have specific anecdotes that convey who you are and talk about you in a favorable manner by conveying the positive characteristics that you have now one thing that I did was called the student brag sheet my schools actually offered this or basically you write down things that you want your teachers or guidance counselors to say in your recommendation let's go Go to the computer. This is kind of what it looks like, and if you want to see the full one, please email me at arnoldosadiyadi at yale.edu, and I'll send you the full PDF of my student brag sheets. I sent one to my guidance counselor and two of my teachers, which included my AP Literature and Composition teacher, who was also my theater director, and my AP Calculus AB and BC teacher, who also taught me Magnet Honors Algebra. These people knew me and my situation the best, and they also had a lot of experience teaching me and getting to know me as an individual. I know that this might seem some depth. I know that this might seem very, very crazy, but you have to really take the initiative. For example, my guidance counselor was new and didn't really know me as much. So using this form, this paper was really, really clutch, especially because teachers have a lot of students and sometimes they need a reminder of specific stories that you've done. But at the end of the day, I still talked with them casually and made good, good friends out of them. Now for interviews, a lot of people at Yale and top colleges don't get interviews because they're really on a case by case basis, depending on whether or not alumni or in the area, but I personally don't think that interviews can really make or break your application. Just to try to be honest, talk to them as if you are having an actual conversation with a friend, but also make sure that you are being appropriate and you are following proper courtesy. Do not talk about superficial things like the ranking of your school or how elite a school may seem or your grades or test scores or anything. Just try to elaborate more on your activities and essays maybe and your interests and show why you are a human with actual passions and interests and that you are not a robot. I'm sorry I don't have too much information on interviews, but you have more questions, leave them in the comments down below or email me personally. All right, in terms of the Common App, I chose the Common App personally because I thought the application was just very simple. It was very nice and clean and easy to understand. And in this video on why I only apply to one college, I explain in more detail why I chose the Common App over this application called the National College Match. So that's it for this series. Overall, just please try your best to have fun with it. I know that it can be very, very stressful, but please just try to keep your head up and look at the bigger picture of things. The fact that you're on this video shows that you are determined and that you will work hard and that work ethic will be transferable to the future and your long-term girls, to the future and your long-term goals, whether or not it's going to a top college or whatever. You are amazing, you're beautiful, you're sexy, you're capable, and just make sure that you approach this with poise and grace and be nice to everybody and just be genuine and honest as you can. Thank you so much for everything. Let me know what else you want to see. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and click on the bell notification icon. Um, this truly helps out the YouTube algorithm to help out this channel, to help you guys out, uh, to help me out actually a lot. Uh, I love you guys. Thank you so much for this community. I love this YouTube thing and it's just been nothing but awesome to me. So thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video.